Today we're going to be taking a detailed look at the LEGO Icons NASA Artemis Space Launch System. LEGO sent me this set early to review. It has 3,601 pieces and it's going to retail for 260 US dollars starting on May 15th. This thing looks beautiful. What a great addition to the LEGO space lineup. I really think that price per piece ratio is pretty good. Like we got 3,601 pieces retailing for 260 US dollars. So definitely not too bad. There we have the instruction manual, all white with a close up of the rocket. There's a little specifications plaque that comes with this set as well. And that is a sticker and then the rocket and launch system itself is absolutely massive. It measures 27 and a half inches or 70 centimeters high, 10 and a half inches or 27 centimeters wide, and 12 inches or 30 centimeters deep. It's so detailed. It was a pretty cool build. There was quite a bit of repetition involved, but the end product just looks fantastic. Inside the first few pages of the instruction manual, you can learn about the Artemis Space Launch System. A beautiful background on that page there, a match made in space, and then look at that image of the launch system. There's a couple pages here that outline the journey of the Artemis along with some more real life images. That image is just stunning and it's right beside another timeline. I definitely recognize the designer. He's designed a bunch of Lego Star Wars sets and then there's a blueprint of the spacecraft as well. After learning about the Artemis, you take off with the build and work your way through this very thick instruction manual. The rocket is a multi-stage rocket, so we get two solid fuel boosters on the left and right side. They're the black and white ones there, and they can actually be removed from the main multi-stage rocket, which is done in the dark orange and orange colors. Uh, there is a bunch of sticker detail mixed in with some print detail as well. So you can actually make out some of those stickers like for example, right there, that is a sticker, unfortunately. Same with that NASA one right there. I just wanna point that out because I know a lot of people don't like stickers. However, that one right there is actually a print piece. Working our way up top of the solid fuel booster, there are a couple more stickers as well. Same with uh, this one here on the side of that dark orange cone piece there. And then this United States flag, also the NASA logo. But this uh, dish right here, or this cone rather, actually has some print detail on it, which is the uh, NASA logo and also the United States flag. So there's a nice combination of some print and sticker. I know a lot of people would want it to be fully printed. I specifically would much prefer if the specifications plaque was printed. I think that would be nice. It's something new that LIGO has been doing recently. But it actually is really neat the way that it sits on uh, the launch system here. There are some moving components. Uh, for example, this right here can actually be moved. You just come over here and you flick this little Technic piece and they're gonna synchronize moves. So for example, all of these are connected with this long Technic axle running through it and I can just flip that back and forth. So that is pretty cool. You're gonna see that actually connects up here as well. Not too bad at all. Pretty cool how we have the moving features. And then there also is the crew bridge right up here. This one you just move by hand and it'll swing back and forth. You can see it's nicely detailed with some roller coaster track there. And then there are uh, these stabilizers as well that actually clip onto the jumpers on the side and those can very easily be detached as well. That hinges downward. So unfortunately this set here doesn't come with the rocket engines. You have to buy those separately from a different hobby store. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Could you imagine putting rocket engines in this thing? That would not end well. Let's not and say we did, all right? But now that we have the uh, rocket support retracted there and all the umbilicas retracted along with the crew bridge, this can actually be lifted out. And I like the way that it's actually affixed to the uh, base there. For example, when I have that rocket support attached to those jumpers, I can move it around as one piece because it's rock solid on there. And you can see I just pull this out like that. Uh, there's some elements in the bottom there that attach into the base of it. And look how detailed it is down there. Very nice. I love the surface with a combination of studs and smooth surface with those modified uh, four by six plates. Looks really good in the dark tan. And then also some black detail along with the uh, dark gray. Now, 
unfortunately, I don't know a whole lot about rockets and the way that they take off, but I'd imagine this closely represents the actual Artemis space launch system. And I know, like I heard uh, stories that they actually dump like a whole bunch of water in there to, to help like offset the thrust and all that. It's pretty wild. And look at the detail on the bottom here. I love the thrusters. Those are like uh, beehive pieces. Commonly you would see those in like a yellowish color. There's also uh, some barrel elements down there, also some cones, some uh, car hoods. So just all sorts of really nice part usage to create the uh, base of the rocket. I just can't stand these connecting stickers. It just doesn't look good at all in, in my opinion. I tried to apply them as, as closely together as I possibly could, but it, it truly didn't turn out that well. It's, it's sort of off-putting to be quite frank. But this rocket here is very solid. Uh, it's actually built using some studs not on top building techniques and these panels are just big panels and they just stick onto the, I'm going to call them snot bricks within the interior. So it's a pretty neat build. It is very, very strong, which I do like. You can also uh, remove the uh, two solid fuel boosters off the side just by detaching them. They're just held in with some uh, connecting elements there. And those are very solid as well. They look really cool. There's all sorts of uh, pieces in there to just give them the nice authentic colors as well, like the black and white combination with those like disc elements. So it's really neat. And uh, the most impressive thing about this is actually the removable top as well. And the removable top is actually the Orion spacecraft. So the way that we can uh, remove this is we can actually just pop this off either side. Those orange cones, they just come right off there. And then we have the Orion spacecraft that pops out, which is pretty cool. There's all the different components of, of that and it has some sticker detailing on it as well. And it can also open up if we just uh, pop that off and then pop this off and these will just open up like that. And then what I can do is I can take this, which came separate on its own little stand. So you can display it like that. This I believe is the crew module. Like I said, I'm not a space expert. Everything that I've learned, I've learned through this Lego set, which is actually pretty cool as well. Uh, and this can actually be folded up. So we can fold these like solar panels backward like that. And it can actually sit within here clip into the uh, cone. There's like one of those modified one by one pieces in there. And then we can actually reassemble this. Do it in real time here for you. Reassemble this, just make sure your logos are the right way and all that, there we go. And then we can pop this back on. And now we've actually concealed that within the Orion. And then we can just put this back in. I would just put one of these back on first and then put the Orion in and one of the brackets is actually going to support that. So it just clips in place and then we'll put the other side on as well. And there we go. That's sealed within and then we can rebuild our rocket. Very easily just clip these back on. It's very satisfying and I like how as you do this, nothing like falls apart. Like it's, it's strong. Like I can like, and it, it, it's not gonna break. Like I'm applying quite a bit of pressure there. So it's pretty cool. I love how, how detailed this is. It's, it's really neat. And I love the fact that you can just tuck that away inside. Pretty cool detail. You know what, why not rip open this rocket and show you that uh, studs not on top building technique there. So we got some of the uh, modified bricks with the forward facing stud. And then we were able to build this panel and stick that on those forward facing studs and build a pretty cool looking rocket. And then I love the fact that we also get the launch tower as well. Like the Saturn V was an epic set, but we didn't get the launch tower for the Saturn V. A lot of people might have built the rebrickable model for that. I think we built it using the London bus. And here we are, uh, we've got a, a really nice looking uh, launch tower. I like the micro scale details here, such as the uh, little staircase and this texture that they created using the rail plates is really nice as well and dark gray there. 
Coming along this side, it's actually a little bit hollow and we've got some more micro scale details inside such as the uh, little staircase there. Uh, some more like lightsaber hilt pieces along with the bars to add some nice detailing here. I love the angles right here on these bars too coming off the base of the tower. Super cool, you can see the, the unique angle that we get with that like connection piece. Yeah, it's really well done. More of the uh, dark gray detail back here uh, with those rail plates. And then it's actually hollow in here. You can actually see some like tubing inside there, which is built using those Technic pieces. More of the bars and also some red color there. And I just like how it's hollow and you can actually look inside. You got another staircase there. Yeah, it's pretty neat. The uh, base of it sort of glides nicely on my table here. Uh, it's not on like, rubber tires or anything. It's actually just using those like inverted roundish pieces as the feet, you see them all. Yeah, so that just allows you to sort of move it around and take a look and you can see some of the colorful interior as well and sort of see right through it too because it's like hollow. So that's pretty cool. Pretty colorful interior I actually have the uh, instruction manual flipped open here to where you build the base or foundation of the uh, tower. So yeah, it's just definitely a lot more colorful there. And you can see some of the base uh, configuration of the details there as well. And there's a lot of images <laughs> like this here. Well, just getting all of those aligned there, a little bit of repetition. And then once again, the, uh, the framework of the actual tower is very repetitious as well. I can't say that that was the funnest thing to build out of Lego, you know, like just doing the same thing over and over again. But I think the end result was, was definitely worth it. But it's very repetitious. Eiffel Tower vibes for sure. Uh, but yeah, looks, uh, looks beauty. And I, once again, I just love how rugged this rocket is. And I like how when you put it on the display stand or the, the launch tower, it's rock solid and the uh, moving functions or the moving components of the launch tower. Very, very cool. There we have the Lego Icons NASA Artemis Space Launch System. Definitely an epic addition to the Lego Space lineup. If you're thinking of grabbing one, feel free to use my affiliate link, which is in the description below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out in the very near future. Farewell.